If you're a maker, it's never too early to start thinking about Christmas. So today I'm going to share with you my Christmas Tree of Life table runner. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. This table runner was my Island Boutique Ambassador Challenge project for July 2022. So if you've seen some of my other videos, you know, as an Island Boutique Ambassador, they send me a whole bunch of um, fabric and other products. And then each month I have a challenge project that I have to make using the things that they sent with me. So this month's project, it is sponsored by AccuQuilt and it's called AccuQuilt Christmas in July. So they sent us the Tree of Life block on board die and we had to use this in a Christmas or holiday type project. And we were encouraged to be creative and move beyond the basic Tree of Life block. So the Tree of Life block die is a gigantic die. It's very big, but it's also like all their block on board dies. It's really well organized and it's laid out so you can just put your fabric on here and one slide through and you cut all the pieces for your block. And this is a pretty big deal because the Tree of Life block has 73 pieces. So even with a rotary cutter, that would take a while to cut. And it's a lot of half square triangles. So it is, can be a really time consuming block. The other thing that makes this die useful is that this is a 14 inch block. And so with 14 inches, that means that these little half square triangle pieces are one and three quarters of an inch finish size. And so if you're trying to do this uh, with rotary cutting and other traditional piecing methods, there's some pretty um, interesting math and more difficult things to figure out to get the right sizes for all the pieces. And so the die makes it so easy because you don't have to do any of the measuring and calculations. It just cuts all the pieces and then you just assemble them together. So on the package for the die, it has a picture of the traditional um, color layout and it has this really nice little quilt throw on there. But we were encouraged to just be creative and use this in a different way. So I decided to just go full Christmas and make a green tree with a whole bunch of different colors to represent the ornaments on it. Uh, the ornament fabrics, I just added them randomly in the assembly. And the way it's assembled, I couldn't always tell what was gonna go beside each other, but I think it's pretty well um, spread out throughout the blocks. And then I made two blocks and I joined those on point uh, with these little setting triangles just to make a fun little table runner. For the quilting, I used a decorative stitch and I just followed the seam lines on here. So full confession, I copied this quilting idea from a fellow Island Boutique Ambassador, Preeti Harris. So I'm gonna link to her project below as well because when I saw her quilting, I thought it was really cool. I said, hey, I'm gonna copy you. And she said, sure. So, um, so that's where I got the idea from, but I just love the look of it and the texture that it adds to this piece. Now in the back of this, I was trying to find a piece. I didn't quite have enough of this green to get all the way across. So I added this strip of yellow. So that adds a little bit of interest. And this side could be used as table runner in non-Christmas times. So a table runner like this is a pretty quick and easy project. And I'm sure it would make a great gift for Christmas or for any other occasion. A big thank you to Island Boutique along with their industry partners, AccuQuilt, Schmetz Needles, and Hobbs Batting for supplying all the materials for this project. Be sure to check out the projects from all the other Island Boutique ambassadors, because there are some other ones that were far more creative in using the Tree of Life die in a new and different way. Um, and it's just really amazing to see them all. You can find links to this along with other great quilting inspiration 
at evenestudio.com.